can't tell who might be out. got it wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. 
That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced dogs will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped-up dream. The corporate city-state where like-minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one-world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Marchenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? That's some pretty sick shit, man. As far as we can tell, it targets a specific protein sequence in the body and deletes it. But without that sequence, the immune system goes into overdrive, attacking and rejecting critical organs within minutes. Rucker's death must have been horrible. It was. The way it hit him, it looked like his augmentations were being forced out of his body. Like he was experiencing a ramped up form of rejection syndrome. The orchid's an og killer? How did you survive it? I suspect it's an everyone killer. But something in my DNA must be resistant to it. My body doesn't reject augments, Alex. I've never needed neuropazine. Maybe that's the key. No neuropazine dependency? Jesus, how's life at the top, man? You gotta be what, one in a billion? Still, don't go testing this theory out. You might not be so lucky next time. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed, and Ficus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew is lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn, curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Policie z 
Is not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with McCready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, 
You and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just, maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, canceling this event will only embolden all of them. men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talus Rucker, and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy, as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing, but I can. Where are you meeting then? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slate. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. <laughs> 